Hi guys, it's Friday the 18th. I should know that because I've got my uh, doctor's appointment later. In two hours actually, just over two hours because it's 1.50 now. In the afternoon of course. Well it wouldn't be 1.50 in the morning because it's broad daylight. <laughs> anyway, I went and did a little bit of Christmas shopping in the sense that I've got one present in a carrier bag down there. No, not the bag full of rubbish. One there. And uh, I can't show it because I do have family that watch my videos. So I um, can't show what it is or who it's for, I'm afraid. But I happen to walk around in the same store I got the gift from. I happened to walk around by the um, Christmas decorations because the other way was um, blocked by some other customers because the um, aisles aren't very wide in QDs. Um, but never mind. And I found these. Now, as you know, one of my favourite animals is squirrels. And that's what these are. There's two of them actually in two different colours. Yep, even in this poor light they are showing up. And you also know I have an obsession with lights. Well... <laughs> these sort of kill one bird with two... or two birds with one stone, I should say, not one bird with two stones. <laughs> they both light up. Um, and they are on offer, because... Um, I think this one may have been tried a few times because that is slightly dimmer. And I actually pulled the um, battery tab out myself on this one. This one already had it removed, but it's only batteries. If they die, I can replace them. I've got packets of them over there. So, but yeah, one grey and one brown. Um, they do do. Do do? They do a larger version of these, but they just. It, they were alright, but they didn't look as cute. And they were the same price as well, the larger ones. And did the same things. I just didn't like them as much as I did this, these ones. I mean, it's part of the illuminated woodland animal range they've got in for Christmas. But um, these are also ornaments you could um, keep out all year round if you so wished. But not just a Christmas one, so I think these will actually end up staying out. But I just couldn't resist. Not at one ninety nine each. No, it's, it's, <laughs> it's stupidly simple. It's just that little thing in the bottom with a switch battery and a light bulb in it. You couldn't get any simpler. <laughs> in a plastic moulded body with um, basically some fake cuddly toy fur stuck on top. <laughs> That's all it is. Now it probably cost about ten pence to make. <laughs> Or something ridiculous. Anyway, had the race out for a ride, and it's riding fine. Absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. Uh, rear brake is better, but not a hundred percent. Not how I'd like it. Front one's working better than the rear, but I can stop, so I'll leave it as it is, at least for now. Um, I'm just thinking what I <laughs> haven't really got anything planned today. Um, I've got two hours to kill. Pardon me. Um, probably the cat to kill if he gets a wet whiff of that fart. <laughs> and he's uh, on his chair. I can go in the bin. I've got a bag of rubbish to take there. And what's my um, recycling like? Oops, the recycling's getting full. Uh, I think the last, co last collection is going to be next week, I believe. And I think it's recycling to get collected. They will collect over Christmas, but obviously because they take days off for the Christmas. I think Christmas Day and I think Boxing Day, then they'll, um, that shifts all the collection dates around. And then they've got to play catch up. But, uh, it's kind of annoying, but can't be helped, you know. Everyone deserves to have a 
couple of days off over Christmas, including the bin men. That's why I don't agree with some places opening on Christmas Day. Because even if you're not religious, on Christmas Day, I still feel you deserve to be at home with your family. But, uh, although with all these uh, restaurants that do open Christmas Day for Christmas meals, I suppose that's handy for people who, I don't know, perhaps don't have family or, you know, it's only them and the wife, husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know. You don't want to cook for Christmas, so go and have a meal out. So, I suppose that's not all bad, but everywhere opens Boxing Day. I swear that was my old boss over so across the car park. I could be wrong, though. Uh, <laughs> he really did look like my old boss. <coughs> walking past on the phone. It's amazing. I'm all the way up here with double glazed windows and there's still certain sounds I can hear. But I do have good hearing anyway. Right. I suppose one thing I could do is actually have a clean up in here because uh, I've just got bits lying here, there and everywhere. That speaker on the floor. I can go in the bedroom. Because that's got to be connected to the audio amplifier in there when I get round to that. Um, I do want to go... I hate choosing Christmas presents because I just don't know what to get anyone. <laughs> and I want to get them something, obviously, but I just I don't know what to get. You know, I think one of the easiest people to shop for would be my stepdad. Because I know, I know his hobbies and I know what sort of things he require for them, you know, tool-wise and whatnot. So he's quite easy. Uh, Mum, she's too much of a housewife, no offence. So she doesn't get time for hobbies and whatnot. She's always cleaning. If she's not cleaning or cooking or anything like that, or doing shopping or running errands, she's on the laptop. So I don't really know what to get her. <laughs> Same with my sister, what can I get her, you know? Um... I'm my brother. Don't know what to get him either. Apart from poke on the snow when he's being a dick. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, can't even, I can't even think of anything to get him for his um, computer. Otherwise, I'd uh, buy something for his PC after Christmas. Or over Christmas. I can order it over Christmas, you know. And when it arrives, I can uh, put it in his PC, but I can't, can't think of anything he'd need, apart from RAM. Which, uh, I suppose I could get. If I have a look on eBay later. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to disappear, so I can get a few things done. I might put the camera on later. When I've, you know, made some progress in the lounge. It won't take me long. It, just, it looks worse than it is. It's just a matter of throwing some tools back in the toolbox, uh, picking some shit up off the floor. Before I chuck that audio cable down there, I want to take the RCA plugs off that. I need one. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. Alright, I've uh, been busy since I made the first segment. I've uh, been for a ride on the uh, Eresa. Uh, which I think I may have mentioned in the first part, I can't remember now, it was hours ago, so anyway. Um, I have been to the see the diabetic nurse. Um, urine sample was okay, blood pressure was a smidge high, but I had just cycled 
to the doctor's surgery. I hadn't been resting that long before, probably five or ten minutes before um, I was called in. And having Asperger's, there was that teeny little bit of anxiety there as well, which I think is what causes it. I could be wrong, but that's my theory. Because nearly every time I go and see the nurse and have the blood pressure done, it's always a smidge high. But... I noticed they haven't got it, but I don't know if they took it away to put the tree there, but they used to have a sort of do-it-yourself blood pressure machine. And I did it on that once, because I'd stopped there with Mum, while Mum was sorting things out at the counter, or at the reception, I should say. I just decided to do my own, and it come out fine. So, that's my theory. I think because of the anxiety I get with Asperger's when I'm out. Combined with cycling down there, might be why that was a smidge high. Um, cholesterol is also a tiny bit high, but she's said it's not worth worrying about. Not at the moment. Um, but, um, I bet, well, I so saw the nurse that did all that first, and then I got taken through to the other nurse, which I would say is the actual diabetic nurse, who talked through the blood results, which um, are showing my blood sugars are sitting a lot higher than they should be. Three um, percent doesn't sound that much, but in my, in the terms of numbers, but in the terms of the amount of sugar clinging to your blood cells, it's a lot. So, you know, she was nice about it. I can't complain. Not at all. Absolutely lovely. All the nurses there are lovely, actually. Um, I've got a flu jab as well. I can't remember. I think I forgot about when I booked myself for a flu jab. I completely forgot about it, but uh, I had that today while I was there. I thought, I'm there, they've offered it, it's free, stick it in my arm, <laughs> sort of thing. So another nurse went up and um, cause they store things like that upstairs, so she went upstairs, grabbed the needle, and stuck it in my arm. Did it actually sting a bit? Not just the actual needle piercing the skin, which always stings a teeny little bit, but um, that did actually hurt a little bit afterwards as well. But, uh, yeah, that's all done. So, um, anyway, the diabetic nurse, she talked through diabetic changes, a s slight change to my own medication as well. Uh, the glucoside, if I can find the tray, these little 30 milligram ones, um, I, I am currently on one a day, so I take these in the morning, along with my metformin and my antidepressant. Straight after I've had breakfast, I take these. Uh, but because of how my sugars are sitting at the minute, um, she's upped it to 60 milligrams of glycoside a day, so I've got to take two a day, and she said I could either take two in the morning, or one in the morning with breakfast, and one, um, at dinner time, with my dinner time metformin, so it's, it's up to me, I think I'll, I'll experiment, I'll try two in the morning and see what happens. Uh, and I'll try splitting them and see what happens, see which works best. Because um, frankly, my diet is shit, so I'm going to change my diet. That is my New Year's res resolution. I couldn't think of one before, but having this boot up my ass, so to speak, um, I'm sort of realising if I don't change my ways, I'll probably end up in an earlier grave than planned. 
and I don't particularly want that. I know life is crap, <laughs> it is for most of us, <laughs> you know, we've all got problems and whatnot, but uh, I'd rather not end up in an early grave, thank you. So, as I'd sold two bikes this week, which reminds me, I've still got to note one down in my book. I said I was going to do it last night and I completely forgot. I'll, um, so I was just reading something from a relative on Facebook. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh yeah, the diet. Um, that needs a good shake-up. So, this is what took me a while to um, actually get back and make the second segment, because it's now just gone 8.15 at night. And I can't remember what time I made the first one, it was around about lunchtime. The first part of this video, why am I opening the fridge? I want to open the bloody fridge, do I? I can show you what I bought. I've been a good boy. When the light comes on, <laughs> that's a bit slow for some reason. Mind you, it is six years old with the same starter and tube in it. Anyway, I went shopping. And believe it or not, everything in this freezer, there's four bags of mixed veg of two different types. There's two packets of sausages, just for a bit of meat. Um, fish, I can eat fish to my heart's content. A couple of pizzas, just for... Cheap, um, something like you know, uh, try again. Two pizzas just for a treat. Those chips and that bit of chicken were already in there. Plus, I got two pies for tea. There's the packet. Um, a packet of ham, a bottle of cola, a pack of low fat coleslaw, and a tub of um, potato salad. Oh, and the bag of kale in the salad box, all for about £17, which is bloody cheap, and I went to Lidl. Well, actually, the grand total came to 18 I think about 18 99 but I had to take 2 99 off the total because I treated myself to a torch, a 40 lumen LED torch, because um, I actually don't have any not even any half decent torches. So I'm hoping. <laughs> I sort of took a gamble here because it was two ninety nine. I thought um, I'm hoping it gives off a decent beam of light at least. I don't care if it's super duper bright, just so long as I get a um, half decent beam. Um, I did have a sort of a start at tidying up, and then I'd give up. But the other thing I need to do is become a bit more active. I used to be, because I used to, um, when you look at my medical records, because I can see them on the computer, back in 2012, which was the last time I had a diabetic review, slap my wrists, I didn't actually think it had been that long, to be honest. <coughs> um, I was bang on with keeping my sugars in check. But, I was a lot more active back then. Because um, I was all, nearly every day I was out helping a friend of mine. And I was around there, we were doing things in his garden, we were doing all I was helping him do odd jobs for his friends and whatnot, you know. One way or another, I was active at least every day, and most of the day. Uh, but ever since, you know, his, things in his life has changed, and things my end have changed, you know, as just life. <laughs> I haven't been as active, which probably hasn't helped, to be honest. Um, you see, the silly thing is, sometimes you don't feel when you're having a hypo. I've probably been having a few, and that might be why at night, when I'm least active, and I've stuffed like a tin of beans with some chips and plenty of tomato ketchup and whatnot, I've probably boosted my sugars up high without realising just made me feel a bit crappy in the evenings. 
and grumpy. Um, so I think later tonight, even though it's a Friday night, I'm going to go for a long walk around town. I might get stopped by the police going, what are you doing out this time of night? But I know what they're like around here. They've done it to me before. I'm out for a walk because I'm diabetic. Now piss off and go do something useful. <laughs> it's the last Friday... Yeah, it is. It's the last Friday of, um... 2015, isn't it? No, it isn't. Sorry, it's the last Friday before Christmas. Because obviously they won't be able to have a pub crawl next weekend, will they? So, emergency services, I have seen it on Facebook, emergency services are expecting it to be one of the bus busiest nights of the year. I don't get paid again until Christmas Eve. <clears throat> which is a bummer. I've now got £10 left in my wallet, not in my wallet, because it's only in coins. I don't keep coins in my wallet, only the notes. Um, only because there's nowhere really to put coins in my wallet. <laughs> That's the only reason I keep the coins and that in my pocket. Um, yeah, I've got £10 in change, which will see me through till... well, till I get paid. Easy. Um, I can stick to all the diet drinks and whatnot, you know, sugar-free stuff. Um, so the problem with fatty stuff is it gets turned into sugar in the body. It gets stored as fat, and when the body needs it for energy, it then gets turned into sugars. <laughs> so yeah, and uh, I have got the gut. Although under here there is muscle from the biking, but there is still a layer of fat there, so I could do a shedding a few pounds. That wouldn't hurt. Um, and well, I actually went to the toilet earlier on the throne, and that's my thinking seat. That is because I I do a lot of thinking when I'm taking a dump, and I thought I could get an exercise bike. So if I don't feel like going for a walk, or a bicycle ride outside, or it's too cold or it's too wet, I could still sit in here in the comfort of my own home with some music going, and just ride for as long as I want on an exercise bike. <clears throat> you know, perhaps an hour a day or something. So, in the new year, I'm going to be looking for one. They didn't have the funniest idea where the hell I'm going to put one, though. <laughs> but I will find one, and I will, I don't care what it is, I want one. So I think that would help, I think that would be a great help. I could even sit it in here, if I just get a smallish one, I could probably just stack it in there somewhere or something and get it out as and when I want it. But, uh, yeah, um... That is one of the problems with diabetes, though. Even though your sugars bounce up and down, you may not notice, because you could still feel absolutely fine. Now, before dinner, mine were 13 point something on my meter. I feel absolutely fine. I feel like a normal everyday person. I've had dinner. I still feel like normal. But I know my sugars have probably crept up to about 15 point something now, after eating dinner. And that was a good, probably nearly a good two hours ago now. So they should be peaking. Um, but it can also, when they go up, make you um, have real problems with that arm ever since she stuck that flu jab in. <laughs> it should be peaking by now. It's usually two hours after eating, your sugars will peak. Um... That's not what I was saying, was it? What was I was saying? Not about the peaking. Oh, about urinating. It can make you urinate frequently because your body will dump excess sugar in your urine, which is why you, um, someone who's diabetic can be more prone to urine and bladder infections, etc. Um, there's lots of other infections they're more prone to because of the sugar because it's a good breeding ground for bacteria. 
Uh, <laughs> but because you're peeing regularly, you have to drink regularly, and that can make you feel dry. Give you a dry, dry throat, a dry throat. I'm not a Londoner, so I don't know why I said throat. That's the sort of <laughs> sort of thing people from Essex and London way would say. It's a throat. <laughs> There's three of them over there, and they're all free. Uh, English accents are coming to you. I don't think I've ever had mackerel. Someone just suggested oily fish like mackerel. Well, I know I can eat fish to my heart's content, because it is good for you. But I don't think I've ever had mackerel. I've never had cod and tuna. <laughs> my mum's just put, you can do it, either that or become a pincushion. Cheers, Mum. <laughs> well, that she means I'd end up on insulin like my stepdad, and all you'll see around his middle is needle marks from his insulin pens. <laughs> um, one day that will happen. I'd rather stem it off as long as possible. Um, Mostly because taking pills is so much easier. <laughs> I'm just going to ask Mum if she's seen the photo of the freezer. Because I made a start. Even though I said it's going to be a New Year's resolution, I made a start. Anyway, how long have I rambled on for? Ooh, 17 minutes. Um, well, I won't end the video just yet, because I might do something that I could turn the camera on for ten minutes for later. Uh, pardon me. I'm going to have to knock it off with the sweet treats as well. I usually, usually I have something sweet after every meal, and that's probably not bloody good. Every day, you know, every other day, maybe. But to be honest... I'd rather eat vegetables and fruit. I'm not a fruit lover. Unless it's pineapple. I could eat pineapple till the cows come home. Love pineapple. Don't mind the odd banana or the odd apple, but I'm not really a fruity person. Um, so, alright then. Yeah. What I'll do, I'll turn the camera off. I may have... Um, a bit more of a tidy up in this lounge, at least clear that, because I've got some videos up there I want to make. And, uh, yeah. One day I'll think of something later to talk about, so see you a little later. Okay, last part for the video. Haven't done anything, <laughs> um, but I haven't been sat here either. In fact, I've been on a power walk around town. Yep. I decided that a 45 minute walk around town wasn't bad. It's It wasn't as long as I was planning. Um, I thought I was going to need the loo because I could feel my gut sort of doing some weird things, but turns out they didn't. But still, it was a 45 minute walk. If I'd gone the route I wanted to take, it would have been over an hour. <laughs> but uh, maybe tomorrow night, because I want to make it a habit. That's what I'm aiming to do. I want to make a nightly walk a habit. No set time so long as I go on a walk. And I'm going to ask friends and family on Facebook to um, give me a little nudge. Otherwise, I might get a case of the can't be asked, and I don't want that. Or I'll forget, or something dumb like that. I don't really want to do that. So, I'll tell you what, though, it felt good. I could feel my sugars were a little bit too high, because um, I started to get a dry mouth, which is one indication. Um... Either that or I was just thirsty because uh, I hadn't drunk or I hadn't drunk a lot today. But uh, I'm fine now. 
Um, yeah, I think it's time for some drastic changes. Trying to multitask here, and yes, I have got a show off because I'm bloody hot up here. I don't need heating. I could take the heating out of this and it out of this whole flat, and it wouldn't bother me. I haven't actually. No, I tell Porky's. I have had it on, I think, once. But it's been one pretty mild for winter. I mean, there's been days where I've been outside working on bikes and just my t shirt, like I would in spring and summer. Um, I don't feel the cold that much anyway, but that's besides the point. It still felt mild even to me, um, mixed with a combination of both flats below me that'll have their heating on and heat rises, so, yeah, I've not had to, <laughs> had to really put my heating on. I put it on once, like I said, and that's because Mum was here, I can't remember what for, was that the night she stayed no, it wasn't. She was uptown for something, and it was a bit chilly up here, and we were passing time, that was it. What to pass some time. Um, between, a, was it between appointments? Oh, I can't remember, but she was up here for some reason, and she asked if we could put the heat on, so I said yes. Oh yeah, well I remember where I put it. Oh shit. Ah, there it is. That was the other reason I came back a little bit earlier as well, because my feet started to itch. I need to get the athlete's feet... Ath there. I need to go and get the athlete's foot cream out of the bathroom and put some of that on tonight. But yeah, here it is. Nothing to it really, it's just a basic, simple torch. Just on, off, and there's nothing fancy. Um, let's turn the camera around, you know. It's not actually a bad light, to be honest. I haven't turned the lights off and tried it, but it's exactly what I wanted, to be honest. Just a simple little torch like this. You yeah. actually. For two ninety nine, you actually get two Duracell batteries with it as well, which I think that. Yeah. It's not actually bad, to be honest. For what it was, you know, it's it's um, rubber. Or something of a similar material, maybe silicon. And to be honest, I've never smelled a smell like that before. It doesn't smell like the normal silicon or rubber. Uh, I can't remember what the brand is now. Hang on. Still got the packet over here. What was the brand again? Livano Lux. Hmm. Shock and splash proof housing. IP44. LED torch. Shock and splash proof housing. IP44 includes wrist strap and two long life Duracell batteries. Luminous flux, approx 40 lumens, LED low span, approx 20,000 hours. I know you read that wrong. Lighting time, approx 3.5 hours, LED cannot be replaced. It can, if you've got a solder on and you know how to solder. But to the normal person, well, I say normal person, but to someone that doesn't know how to solder, it wouldn't be. That's actually quite a nice... I don't know if you can see it there. Dinky, dinky little LED in the bottom. I'm not shining in my face because it is rather bright. I hurt my eyes already once. <laughs> oh, right. Nearly forgot to feed you. So, I think my plan of action for tomorrow is to finish off cleaning up in here. Um, get all that cleared, or at least some room cleared, and uh, knock, a, knock out another couple of um, Lego videos, at least 
uh, to get me to Christmas on the Lego channel. I've got one video left to upload for tomorrow. This video will be put on the PC either tomorrow morning, actually, yeah, probably will be tomorrow morning because I'm getting tired, put together and uh, put up on uh, YouTube. Uh, my exper if it comes out a bit weird, it's because I've been experimenting with um, um, Movie Maker. Cause that's all I've got on the PC. I don't have any other editing suite, so. Windows Movie Maker, or Movie Maker as they call it now, um, is all I've got. But I think just because I like to, to keep things simple, it will be sufficient enough. Maybe in the future, when I've got a better camera, and a nicer tripod, a nicer tripod, a better tripod. I'm butchering grammar like hell tonight. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I could, I'll look into uh, obtaining some better editing software. But uh, until I just don't see the point with this little camera, because I'd be trying to polish a turd, as it were. Because <laughs> I could go buy all the fancy software and a nice new tripod for this, but I've still got a shitty camera. <laughs> so, so, you know, to me, it just there's no point. Um, right, well, I think I'm nearly sorted for Christmas anyway. Uh, I've still, I want to, Mum said not to bother getting her or anything, but I'm going to get her something. I've got stepdads. I've got no fucking idea what to get Dad. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if I'll see Dad over Christmas, that's the other thing. Um, well, or something else. My sister is sorted, so it's just my other brother. Or the youngest brother. My other brother, I don't really see him, so. <laughs> He's at home with his girlfriend and his daughter, and, uh. I've got to say something then, but I'm not going to get into that. Because <coughs> I'm. I'm too tired to really rant about that. Oops. I just looked at the window and forgot. I left that on. Why does it actually look brighter and more sparkly on camera than it does to the naked eye? But, um, yeah, it is getting rather dim now. You can still see it outside, but... Turn off. Change the batteries. If I can be asked. going to Mum Sunday, not tomorrow, so that will actually give me, uh, uh, pardon me, plenty of time to uh, have a tidy up in here. Uh, battery I need to charge, so at least it's charged, ready to go in the shed, as and when the other one dies, if I haven't gone and left the freaking lights on again, as I seem to have a habit lately of doing. <laughs> right. I think I've got a nice couple of ham sarnies in the morning, if I've got any bread left. No, I've got to go and get some fresh bread. Dipstick. I don't like the bread from Lidl's for some reason. I've just got this thing to go and get the bread from Sainsbury's. Probably because it's about four pence cheaper, actually. And I know it's only four pence, but... Every saving helps. Yeah, I don't want my friend to think I'm ignoring him. I'm going to type something. Oh, you know, I've been listening to some CDs. Um, I think I've got... No, I took that one out. What one did I put in there? 
Oh, I'll move the case, it's um, that top one there, whatever it is. is it? Right here, right now, 18 of Indy's Finest. Not a bad one to listen to, although I left that playing when I went on my um, power walk, and it was on the last track when I came in. <laughs> um... Oh, hello. What's my comment on? There you go. read out loud what my friend is saying because it's rather personal, so... Sorry! I don't know what to turn the camera off, I just want to keep talking. But I've got nothing to talk about now. I'm fresh out. There's something printed on it. I'll print that. I'm just looking at the torch. Uh, RCD... Uh, it's just, it might, might be the model number or something that's got printed on it. It's a number of some sort. I don't know why they put these wrist straps on. I've never used them. Probably, well, I suppose it's alright if you're going out hiking or something at night. But, uh, you know, I don't think that's bad for uh, 2 99 to be honest. That's actually better than the ones I could get out of um, Roy's and QD, to be honest. You'd have to pay more for those. <laughs> so... It's an ideal... That would be perfect, you know, if you're, um... Like I said, if you're out for a walk in, on a country road, you know, walking your dog, so you can see where you're going and be seen. Um... Or leave it in the car. You know, it's the perfect size to leave in a car. In case you break down at night or... I don't know, you've got to load the car up in the dark and need a bit of light or whatever, you know. Change a tar. <laughs> Throw it at someone. Throw it at the driver when they take a wrong turn. <laughs> Throw it at the passenger when they're backseat driving. <sighs> That's what dropped my coat when I came in. Yes, I know you want feeding. I suppose I should go feed you. <sighs> well, Christmas is almost upon us. I'll be, uh, probably be quiet for a few days from Christmas Eve. Because so I'll be going to Mum's and staying the night, as I always do. Whether I actually get some sleep or not, I don't know, because, uh, I find it hard to sleep somewhere where I, I'm not used to sleeping. Um, although I have said I'm going to sleep on the dog's bed. And I think they're all kidding. I'm not. I'm going to sleep on the floor, by the Christmas tree, on the dog's bed. The dogs will be upstairs with mum and stepdad. My sister will be in her room. Oh, well, what was her room? She's moved out now. And my little brother will be in his room. I know little brother's going to go to Dad's for Christmas dinner. Because it makes a nice change. My sister's going to her boyfriend's for Christmas dinner. So that just leaves three of us. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I think we've decided that this year, my stepdad doesn't like turkey anyway. Um, and there's only going to be three of us. It just seems rather pointless forking out all that money on a turkey, so we're going to have chicken instead. <sighs> Which is fine by me. I'm not fussy. I'm... I wouldn't say I've lost the Christmas spirit, but I've just... sort of... I don't know. I just don't feel... 
that we need to put the effort into Christmas like we used to. You know, getting each other the little gift hit for Christmas is still okay, you know. I know Mum, even though I'm 32, still likes to get as many for me as possible. <laughs> but Mums will be Mums. Anyway, that's what I'm doing over Christmas. I will take a laptop with me. I will make sure I've got loads of batteries charged up for this, because you never know what mischief we're going to get up to over Christmas. I don't drink, nor does stepdad anymore, so it won't be any drunken mischief, but you never know. That, and I want to get a video of his um, railway layout as well. So I think that'd be nice. I keep talking about his model railway, but I haven't got any footage to show you, so at least I could show you. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera off, because I want to go get a drink before I head off to the bed for the night. Might put the laptop on, or I might just sit here for a little while yet. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it. And of course, you've got the option there. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. It's, as I always say, it's up to you, the viewer. And uh, of course, if you want to see more random videos from me, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And uh, on that note, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.